What's up everybody? Gamer Chunks here. So today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Audacity to clean up your audio. I've had a few people in the comments and things like that lately ask me how I get my audio so crisp and clear and it's uh it's not really a secret but it's a uh, it's something that's overlooked by some some people sometimes and uh this is a really easy way to do it and it's free. So what we're going to use is we're going to use Audacity and it's a free open source SourceForge uh, application. So you can go and download it. I'll put the link down below on how to get on where to get it. And anyways, so it's a, it's a, my favorite. It's, it's simple and easy to use and it's, uh, we'll get right into it here. So I'll show you the interface quick. Um, we're not going to actually go in and do anything in Sony Vegas yet, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, um, First of all, how to integrate it into Sony Vegas. Since I did a Sony Vegas tutorial, I'm basically going to make this series of videos like uh, step by step on creating gameplay. So you can watch all the videos in 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 order. Uh, if you haven't seen my Sony Vegas video, I'll put a link up in up above here and uh, you guys can click back and take a look at it when you have some time. And I also did a DX story video, which I'll also put a link for that uh, shows you how to actually capture your gameplay if that's what you're if that's what you're doing is using uh, gameplay footage. So anyways, uh, I'm going to close this up for now and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up Sony Vegas Pro. So I'm using the Pro 12 version. Uh, I don't think it really matters what version you're using. This option's available to everybody pretty much. So close that. And uh, yeah, basically you go up here to options and you go down to preferences. All right. So once you're in the preferences window, you come over here to the audio tab. And in the audio tab, you'll see this preferred audio editor thing here. So you go browse and you come down to, um, we'll go over here. This will probably be where it is on your system unless you've cho chosen to put it elsewhere. So we'll look up here for audacity. There we found it and we choose the audacity file, which is the application file for, for the software. So we'll choose that. So now we have this, uh, I don't know what you call it, location for audacity. So we'll click apply and we'll click OK. So now I'm going to just show you a quick thing here. I'm going to make a quick recording um, on Sony Vegas. So I'll just click here, click OK, and we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So we'll click the stop button here and we'll go done. So now we have this little audio clip. Now this is the same, same thing you're going to have if you have like a video file that you're importing that you've already recorded voice over or whatever the case is. So what you'll do is you'll take this actual little clip and you'll just right click it. And then you'll go up here to open copy in audio editor. Now we set the audio editor to audacity. So now when we click this, it's going to create a quick little file. And I always do this. I always go make copy of files before editing safer. I just click OK. I don't really know if it makes that much of a difference, but I do it just, I don't know. So anyways, um, so the first thing we see is we see we got a wave in here. It's a bunch of waves. So we take, we'll take this wave and I think I actually might have had my Sony Vegas recording off of my other mic, so that's why we're getting such a low wave. And we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on Audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. All right. So I believe that's what happened. So that's fine. We can still clean up this audio. It's it's going to be fairly low, but we're, because uh, my mic's on the other side of the room, but <laughs> that we'll, we'll still use this audio, audio piece. So... What I do, the first thing, is I take a look at the wave where you see, see here, like it's like f very flat, and in here it's very flat. Now, these are usually your noise areas where you just have like background noise or, you know, the, the sound of your computer humming, or in my case, I have a fish tank beside my computer that bubbles a bit, and it makes like weird noises sometimes, and it, and you just get like ambient sound or whatever. 
So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're clicked on here. Um, if you can't see this very clearly, you can click this button here and you can zoom into your, your uh, audio a bit. In this case, we don't really need to because we can see the clear areas where the, uh, where the, the wave is very skinny and, and our, it's our noise areas. So we'll just click back on this and we'll isolate an area like this. Just uh, left click, select an area. Doesn't have to be, I, I don't really think it needs to be uh, huge or anything like that. I usually pick a, an area like this big or whatever. And then I go up here to effect. And the first thing I'm going to do is I click noise removal. So now that we've selected this, this is a two part process. So we click, we selected this area. This is step one. So we click get no noise profile. So that takes like the, the, this area and it kind of figures out like what it is, like the levels and all that stuff and what, and what it can do. So after that, there's, you can do two, you can do two things. You can either try and click at the very beginning here and select all the way down to the end of your audio stream. Or there's the easy way, which is just click control A. So if you're unclicked here and you just, you just click control A, it'll select your entire audio wave. So once you've done that and you've selected the whole wave, you click effect and you go back to noise removal down here, click noise removal. And this is the way I set it up. This may take a little bit of tweaking on your behalf, depending on your mic, depending on whatever, but these are my settings that seem to work quite well. So I set the noise reduction to 24 decibels, sensitivity to zero, uh, frequency smoothing 150, and attack decay time in seconds 0.15. So I leave it like that. I make sure that noise remove is uh, selected, and you just click OK. You can also preview it. Uh, I don't usually preview it because what I do is I, I, I click OK, I select, or then I l listen to the stream, if it's where I want it, then I leave it. If something screwed up bad, I just go up to edit and click undo. So, and that'll undo whatever it is that you've done. So I don't really, I don't really use this preview function, but you can. So anyways, uh, yeah, you click okay. So now it's edited the, the audio stream. So now when we play it back and we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, when we do that again, you'll see that the areas that are flat now, and we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on Audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Right. So what I find, would because this because this was taken, this audio was taken off of a, a mic that's far away from me, uh, there's not really that much ambient noise. So we did a pretty good cleanup with that one pass. But sometimes you're going to find that the one pass just doesn't cut it. Like there's still a little bit of ambient noise and you want to get rid of it. So what I usually do is I don't select the same area necessarily. Like I'll pick another area, but here I see a couple of little bumps. So I'm going to select this area and I just go through and I do the same thing and I do one more pass. So I go to noise removal, get noise profile, control A to select the whole audio and then click effect noise removal and i click okay so this basically cleans it up and perfect we'll go blah 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 you know whatever uh this is going to be a quick tutorial on audacity hope you guys enjoy it and as you see it doesn't right. really change the the audio or anything like that that's going on so now that we've done that um one other thing you can do is i kind of play around with this sometimes uh, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. I leave my entire audio stream selected, and I come down here and I click Normalize. And what that does is it kind of evens out the 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 stream sound. And uh, actually, this is uh, this is something I haven't seen really before that it actually makes the the waveforms bigger. But we'll see what this did. Okay. And we'll go blah blah blah, you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on Audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so actually right. that's great. That what that did is it took our bad audio that was sounding very far away and it brought it to a more normal tone, like you're actually at the mic. So this is this is actually something good. You know, when you have uh, when you have a problem sometimes and your your mic records really low and you're worried, you know. 
that you don't want to upload something with really crappy audio, you can do this and normalize the, the wave and it'll bring the volume up. In most cases, when I'm recording, my waves are very, very big. So I, what the normalize does is it actually squashes them down a bit. So what it does is it, it actually squashes the high and the low bandwidth of the, of the, uh, of the audio wave. So anyways, uh, this is supposed to be a simple tutorial, so we won't get into like heavy duty audio stuff. But, uh, after you do this, what I do is I, once this is all done, sometimes, like I said, normalize doesn't work. So I'll undo it and I will just use this, but this I always use at the end as well, compressor. And what this does is it basically evens out the audio. So there's no spikes and no, uh, real drops in the audio. Okay. So when we use the compressor, this is okay. the outcome and we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. All right. So that sounds all right. Um, what we could possibly try doing here is clicking normalize to see if this fixes it back to a slightly smaller range and okay. we'll play it again. And we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Okay. So now for what, the, what we had as a base audio, which was crap, right? Because I recorded it off the, the incorrect mic. Um, this, is actually starting to sound okay for what, what we actually had going into it. Now, mic quality is an issue too. If you do, if you have a really crappy mic, you're never going to get perfect audio. So you do need a good mic, but like I said, this little tutorial will help you clean up the audio. So now that we've done all this and we're basically ready to bring this back into our Sony Vegas, what we do is we go up here and we click file export. All right. And what we'll do is for now, I'm just going to put this on my desktop. So you come down here, you can name it, whatever you want. Uh, we'll name it test audio. All right. So, and we'll save it. I always come down and I save it as a wave sign 16 bit PCM file. Um, I believe you could use MP3 files and things like that. I just think that wave is a uh, better quality. I, th in my opinion, maybe even Apple's Apple signed, uh, sound files are better, but I I'm used to wave. So I use wave. Um, again, it's personal preference. So we'll go save and we don't need to do anything here. We just click. Okay. So now that created the file for our wave file. So now we come back in or what we can do is we can close out audacity. Don't, we don't have any reason to save. So we'll just close and we'll move this window over a little bit and we'll look for our test audio on our desktop. So here it is. So we take this file and we just drag it in and drop it. Now, as you can see, there's a huge difference in the waves, right? So if you turn this off, we can listen to what we originally had. And that didn't work. This play button. And Sorry. We'll go blah blah blah. You know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on Audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so you All can right. see there's lots of noise involved and things like that, and it's not very clear. It's very very low volume and and such. So now what we'll do is we'll turn off that audio stream and we'll turn on this audio stream so we can listen to the final outcome. Okay. And we'll go blah, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on audacity. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right. All right. So that's much clearer. Um, what you guys are going to hear is actually my, um, audio being streamed from my speakers through my mic. Probably. I don't even know if you guys can hear it that well or not. Um, we'll see in the end, but basically what I wanted to show you is how to adjust the waves and things like that. Um, oh, actually there's one other thing I wanted to show you quickly before I end this video. So we'll drag this test audio into here. Okay. And one last thing you can do is you can use, um, select all on the audio track effect and you can go click removal. And so what this is going to do is like major spikes in audio and weird little 
discrepancies in audio, it's going to remove them. It's a click and pop removal. So it also cleans up the audio a little bit. Um, usually I do this before I do my compression and all those other things. And okay. it just and makes the we'll, audio sound we'll a little blah, clearer you know, and takes out uh, a little bit of the hissing in your voice and podcast. things like that. Hope you guys enjoy it. So anyways, uh, that about wraps up this tutorial. If you guys liked it, if you learned anything, you know, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, I, do, I do tutorials, but I also do some funny like vloggy type stuff with gameplay and all that good stuff. Uh, lately, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 2, so if you're interested in that stuff, I show a few tips and tricks and some uh, just some fancy gameplay. So check it out. See you guys next time.